on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is uh, a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. Stadio Olimpico, a venue that has an old-school feel about it. And we rise now for the English national anthem. impressive match that We've been given a lineup which suggests a 3 6 1 formation. Jim. Well, what tends to happen with a, a puzzling looking formation like this is that two of the more creative midfielders take up slightly inverted attacking roles to make it a, a simpler 3 4 3 setup or indeed 3 4 2 1. That's what should unfold here. At the moment, I admit, it does look a little strange. We're underway. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Harry Kane. He's a deadly finisher, Peter, obviously, but he can contribute much more than that for his team. He's got the physical presence to hold the ball up and the awareness to bring pretty much everyone else into play. His best attributes, however, might be his, his enthusiasm, his energy and his desire to win because those things become infectious to others. Yes, he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. And it's played forward. Stepanenko. It's a brilliant interception. Kyle Walker. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push. Struck first time! Oh, great save, real class. Well, convincing, that most certainly wasn't. He did well to rescue it, though, I'll give him that. Correct. Yarmolenko, Zinchenko, hits one! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Kyle Walker. It is deadlocked. Well, that's where he wants it. Stepanenko. Now it's Kane. And it's Grealish. Look, it's Kane! Oh, that was no routine save. Well, to be honest, he shouldn't have spilled that in the first place, but he recovered it really quickly, so no harm done. Grealish. Hoists it high. Well, that's surely a foul free kick. <laughs> 
It has gone through to him. Surely. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. He's gone for it! And he's there to hoof it away. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Sterling! Sterling! Goal, England! And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. England draw first blood here. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. And the volley. Keeper sends it forward. Zinchenko. Rice plays it forward. And here's Yarmolenko. It back and he's going long. Foden goes looking and it's Kane. Sure, oh, he wasn't being fooled. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Shaw, Phillips, battles to win it back. And it's Yarmolenko. Stepanenko. Could be a chance here. Yarmolenko gives chase. A fine save. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Time to deliver. Foden. And it's the whistle for half time. So there you have it. A close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Not the most convincing of displays. They could certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence and not rush into mistakes. And we're off again. Ukraine need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. And he has been fouled there. Stones. It's a loose ball. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. He's gone for it. It's anyone's ball. Yarmolenko. Yes. 
Phillips. And here's Kane. Out to the left it goes. Sterling has a goal! He's got away with one there. A chance that's created through very good grafting. Did well to get in the face of his opponent. Now it's Yarmolenko. Oh, what a ball! Chance! No mistake! Ukraine are level! And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Ukraine grab the equaliser and we're all square. Look, this is not for the faint-hearted, Peter. This is hard and fast football. And here's Kane. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Well, the players are making their point, but the ref clearly isn't interested. He's waved them all away. He's had a crack. This could fall anywhere. Phillips. Shaw. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. A lovely delivery, it deserved better. Look, there'll be no complaints at all with quick service like that. It's so difficult to defend when the ball comes in so swiftly. But you can't question the finishing in this instance. I think, though, there's enough grounds for them to keep working at it. Surely a shot! Stones gets good distance on it. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Out of shots! And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Correct. Yarmolenko. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Shoots! Oh, 
Oh, should have put that away. Kane has delivered a really costly miss. It could have been their last chance to win it. Dinks one in. And it's hoisted clear. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. Stones tries to get it forward quickly. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Delivery from Walker. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. And here's Kane. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late... Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Gets wrestled off the ball. Well, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. And it's Shaw. Hurricanes. They seem to have lost their sense of direction. Uh, it should be higher up the pitch. Foden. So nothing between them in 90 minutes, and we are in for extra time. Yeah, no daylight between these two sides, but I have to say, neither side really did enough to find the winner. They just cancelled each other out. So to clarify, extra time will follow. No winner in 90, 30 more to come. And that is as far as they're going to go. Stokes. Rice. Phillips. And he's straight offside. Piotov lobs it in gently. Maguire positions himself well and cuts it out. Stepanenko drives it forward. And there's a long ball. He's got options out wide. And that is not finding anyone. <laughs> Maguire. Phillips. He's picked him out. Goes for goal! Oh, it's in! Late in the day! This could well be it! Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. This is what we've been waiting for. Hoists it forward. Phillips. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Oh, 
Comes out once more. So here comes the substitution. Foden. Chilwell drives it in. Defending of the desperate variety. And the finish! Played it short. That's good defending, very good defending. Extra time reaches half time. Ukraine come roaring back in quite some style. We've got a very different game now. Well, there's plenty of potential for a final twist in this tale. I think there's bound to be some late drama in the final 15 minutes of this epic. Well, we are already up and running again. They have played themselves to a near standstill. What is left in the tank now? A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Chilwell. Yarmolenko with a good steal, well played. Correct. Sinchenko. Rice does well to read it and intercepts. And here's Kane. Sterling. Now it's Sterling. Has a hit! So close to drawing level. Sterling was already celebrating in his head and probably still can't process how the keeper denied him. What a stop. Time for a change in personnel. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real on a shift. Knocks it away. And he certainly caught him there. It's a free kick. Looking to hit the front line. Stokes. Ukraine just have to run down the clock. And here's Kane. So that's it, it is all over. Ukraine have done it in dramatic fashion. A massive test of character and they passed it with flying colours. A truly outstanding comeback by any measure.